All right, everybody. So I didn't make it to Yaoi Con this year, and it was requested that I do do a Yaoi haul, which was my plan. I was going to do it in December, and a... actually, I was going to post a Christmas Day, which hopefully I did. Um, so some of these I bought for myself as Christmas gifts, and a lot of these I found in a very unexpected place, which will be in another video. But I would like to go through with what I got. A lot of them I ordered, so they came in boxes and wrappings. And we will delve into it. So I'll tell you the story about the first batch of yaoi's we're going to talk about. Um, they arrived in an envelope like this. And the first time I was sitting and I heard knock, 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 knock. And then I hear the thing crammed through my box, my little mail slot. And I was going, what on earth is this? And it was an empty, empty envelope that said Amazon Fulfillment on it. I ordered a chunk of Yowie through Amazon. I do that a lot. So I was like, what was in this package? I didn't order anything that was flat. So I looked and the package had been opened. Uh, it obviously had failed during transit. So I spent about 30 minutes on the phone with Amazon Fulfillment and all of them. Super nice. They reissued the package. I got it in less than a day. And I was so, so happy. So... All of that got replaced and taken care of, and that is part of this chunk. So let's delve into it. So right off the bat, I got, because it was suggested because I've been buying Yaoi, uh, Midnight Stranger Volume 1 and 2 people. And then the next chunk is Devil and the Realist, because I am a bit behind on them. I got volumes 8 through 11. Yep, 8 through 11. Because those are the ones I'm missing so far. I think 12 actually is coming out in like two weeks. So these are just to add to my collection so I can continue reviewing those for you guys. I love this series. They're very interesting. Um, I'm surprised it took me so long to order these. I mean, I literally just got these maybe two days ago. Then the last thing I ordered from Amazon was the third volume of Blue... Or the sixth volume of Blue morning. I am missing a yaoi now that I think about it. I'll go look for it in a second. Um, this is the next, this is the sixth volume of A Blue Morning. I love, 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 love this series. It's very interesting to me and it's worth checking it out. Um, let's get into the next volume. Um, the next volume that came from Amazon, which is, I've seen it all, volume three. I'm excited to get back to this series because it was just getting heavy in the second one. So this will be fun. And that's all I ordered from Amazon. I think that was like 12 yaoi's. Now, these ones I paid retail for, which means roughly 10 bucks a yaoi. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight yaoi's for 80 bucks. Um, kind of a jaw dropper, but I think some of them were like six, some of them were seven. I don't tend to pay full cover price all the time. So, yeah. This next chunky yaoi comes in a big big, big box like this. Now these I got from a surprising place and I will talk about that in a little bit, but these were shipped to me by a friend is what I will say. And she spotted these and she went, oh my God, this is perfect for you. And she picked them up for me. And I am so, so, so happy that she did that for me. And then she shipped them to me and I paid her back for shipping and everything. Now this box, she left me a note to let me know how much I owed her, was $67. And $67 for 26 yaois is not bad. That's roughly $3 a yaoi. So, actually it's a lot less than that. It may be a little under $2 a yaoi. But a lot of these, they're in amazing condition. They're great. So let's start going through them. Some of them will be repeats, which means there's going to be a giveaway coming up soon. And yes, so let's start with the two repeats I see right on top, which are from Up Above, which I reviewed this cute little collection of shorts. So yeah, and then La Speranza Volume 1, which I really liked this series. It was a cute coming of age story. And now let's see. These Most of these won't be repeats as far as I'm aware. I have to go back through my collection and check. So this is Lovers and Souls. Um, it, I honestly know nothing about these. Literally, when I tell you where these came from, you guys will die. But that'll be another video, because I have quite a few things that'll make your jaw drop. Then it is Genjo Romantica, Volume 1. This one is 
because of my teacher. I think this is, yep, this is just a one shot. Um, this one is volume one and two of Men Kui. So these look interesting. Then, these ones, I believe they are all a series, but I'm not sure. No, they're not. Takes Me to Heaven is this one. Then, Love and Souls is this one. Then, Hate to Love You is this one. And those ones are from Do Publishing. I'm, I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. This one is a yaoi novel by June, and this one is Don't Worry, Mama. Um, then No One Loves Me. This one's another one by June, and yeah, I'm just floored where this came from, and I'm very happy. Um, then Crimson Snow. Gotta love some Yakuza smut. This one's Love Lesson. Then Cut. Then, hour. then cut. Um, yep, just a cute little another June. You make my head spin. This one looks like it's gonna be really kind of cutesy, sexy. So yep. Then crushing love. This one looks interesting. I love these kind of coming of age stories. So that had me. I want to be naughty. This one's a kitty media. I love kitty media too. Um, yeah, if you guys want to know about my top favorite Yaoi publishers, I can do that in another video. Just let me know in the comments. Um, Dog Style. This is another Kitty Media, and it's volume one. Hopefully there's a volume two. Then, this one is Boy Princess, which this isn't exactly an art style I'm a fan of, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I tend to try to avoid these. Uh, this is a Net Comics Yaoi. This one I have had my eye on forever. Every time I've gone to buy it, I've not been willing to pay the price. This is all Nippon Airlines Paradise at 30,000 feet, which I'm so excited to finally have my hands on this one. I've heard amazing things. I've had friends who love it. So, yes. The next one is a Blue Skies. I know nothing about this one. It just looks really interesting, so I'm excited. There's only, like, four more, and this is The Art of Loving. This one looks interesting. It looks like another coming of age, and it is volume one, so I'll have to buy the rest of the series for that, which I'm fine with. This one is Sweet Regard. This one, again, looks like another coming of age story, or kind of like coming to terms with one's sexuality, so that'll be interesting. Then Lover's Pledge, which looks, it kind of reminds me of another yaoi that I read years ago that I can't recall the name, but it looks really familiar, but I do not own it. I, I have double-checked these things, but I need to really re-double-check. Then this one is un, Unsophisticated and Rude, which looks like a fun kind of businessman pairing story. And yes. So I think this is an amazing, like, kind of yaoi haul for the amount of money I spent. I spent 140 bucks for... This is 26 plus 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're talking about 32, 34 yaois, somewhere in that window. 34 um, yaois, I spent 180 bucks, which is not bad. Because you're talking about 220 if I would have paid retail. So not bad at all. Really not bad. So if you guys are interested in a more in-depth check or a Yaoi collection update, I can do that for you guys. I do have a few that I need to finish reading from last year and acquiring so I have the series so I don't have to freak out when I want to read the next one. So yeah, let me know down below what you guys thought of my little haul for this year and look forward to the next video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. You like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!